Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, things are looking pretty different here today and I apologise for the sound quality. This new room needs a lot of work still, but welcome to the new look crummy beard and welcome to Blue Monkey. That's right, I've been teasing a bit more Blue Monkey content on the channel for a while now and today is the day I thought, what better day than the day that I reveal at least part of kind of the new crummy beard set that uh, we delve into what is probably my favorite brewery ever in the form of blue bob and custard by blue monkey now so you got a lot of questions about what's going on here purely i needed to get out of my kitchen because recording and having so many beers in there was simply becoming a bit too much so i have a dedicated space for this now that echo is horrendous let's be completely honest about that um i've got a bit of sand deadening in one corner but we need some panels across this back wall the wall behind the camera and all sorts and that will get sorted so if you can just bear with me for a few videos really which while i finalize exactly what is needed to get this up to scratch the audio quality will be back in no time now a little bit about this beer this is one i've had before it's called blue barb and custard and is a kind of rhubarb and custard-esque pale ale it is by blue monkey brewery who are local to myself on the kind of nottinghamshire derbyshire border and it's a properly good pale ale this one as you can probably see i'm a big blue monkey fan with a couple of bottles here endless beer mats you get the idea um, and I've even got a beer towel hanging around somewhere but I couldn't find anywhere to display it for this video so I just wanted to review this one here really because I've not had it in a couple of years and I saw it a few weeks ago and thought that would be a really good one to kick off kind of this new era of the crummy beer channel now just before we break into it here is a look at the bottle with the signature blue monkey himself and it is a 4.8 percent pale ale I'm not going to read the description too much, although I say I have had it before, so let's get into this. Lovely golden colour beer, this one. Fairly thin white head on it, a lot of carbonation. The aromas on this are fairly understated. It's got a typical lactose beer kind of aroma about it. There's a bit of a sour fruit thing going on, but it's very nondescript. You can't immediately tell that that is rhubarb. But it smells slightly sweet and very appetizing. So um, I've just spent several days, more than several days, getting this room ready and I'm gagging for a beer. So cheers. Oh, wow. That's better than I remember. What it may lack in aroma, it makes up for in taste. That is a really, that is just delicious. It's refreshing, but it's creamy and it's satisfying all at the same time, which not a lot of beers really get that mix quite right. Individual tasting notes time. The initial taste is actually sweetness. No bitter at the front, just a very light sweetness across the tongue. And then it's a spike of rhubarb that mellows out quickly into a, yeah, milky, vanilla, almost custardy kind of thing. And there's no real bitterness on the end either. It kind of just trails off. It's an instantly sweet, spikes up with that slightly sour rhubarb, and then trails off, it just trails off into that nice, creamy vanilla bit. And it just ends there, and it's just super clean, there's nothing hanging around. There's no negatives about this beer at all. The only thing you might say is it's a little thin and it's kind of the head dissipates a bit quick, but it's really not impacting the experience and the enjoyment of the beer. Sure, it could be a little thicker, a little creamier on the mouthfeel, but to be honest, this being the consistency it is makes it very, very refreshing. And I think you'd start to lose that if you kind of made it a bit more puddingy, if that makes sense. Right, I'm going to pop this down, take a look at the bottle and talk a bit more about Blue Monkey. So it says Blue Barb and Custard, 4.8% Pale Ale, Blue Monkey Brewery. 
Blue Monkey was born in 2008 on the border of Nottinghamshire and Derbyshire. Taking the beer world by storm, Blue Monkey has gained a powerful reputation for brewing award-winning ales, uh, allergy advice, etc. Drink aware, bluemonkeybrewery.com, Gilbrook, Nottingham. Just on the subject of Blue Monkey's birth, I found out the other day that one of the people, one of the co-founders of Blue Monkey went on to found Vocation which is pretty much every hipster's favourite brewery right now. So these guys had a good start and, to be honest, they've only gotten better with age, in my opinion. They aren't brewing beers with the same style or kind of hip factor as Vocation. They're a much more traditional brewery, but they stick to their guns and they keep doing what they're good at. And I think that should be applauded because it really shows. Now, about this beer. Ah, Blue Bob and Custard Pale Wheat Ale. Okay. I didn't really pick up on the fact there was wheat in there. I thought it was, maybe the mouthfeel didn't really give that away. It felt a bit thinner, but fair enough. It says, this beer starts off with the tartness of rhubarb and finishes with the sweet vanilla custard delicious. That's not particularly good grammar on the side of that bottle. Let's say that again. This beer starts with the tartness of rhubarb and finishes with sweet vanilla custard delicious. I think that's meant to say deliciousness. But either way, it is delicious and... Um, yeah, that really simple description absolutely nails it for me. That is what it is. It's just it's a bit of a tart, sour rhubarb thing, and then it just flows, as I said, into that nice, sweet, vanilla, custard-esque thing. So, that's all that's on there. Let's take a, another look at the beer and see how it's getting on. The aroma's changed a bit. Starting to get a bit of that... Um, Bit of a kind of a fruit sweet, like a, I feel like you're supposed to get rhubarb and custard sweets and they're smelling a bit like those. So I'm up a bit, there's definitely, yeah, a bit more going on in the aromas now, it's been open a while. But it's mimicking very much what the taste is. It smells maybe slightly sweeter than it actually tastes, but otherwise pretty much spot on. That is such a good beer. <laughs> that is so good. Oh, I forgot how good this was. Mm. One thing with Blue Monkey is that their taste profiles of the beer don't change a huge amount as they've been open. With a lot of beers I've reviewed recently, I open it up, it tastes like one thing. Five minutes later, once I finish talking about the bottle, it just changes completely. These don't. They mature a little bit. Some bits get higher and lower a little bit naturally just because of the you know what happens when the air hits it, but. They're pretty damn consistent. That really is a class beer. Now, a bit more about this new set. So I don't know how much you can really see on the camera right now, but obviously I've got a lot of glasses and a kind of a display section for the beers I'm reviewing on this row. Above here are a load of beers that will be coming up for review on the channel really soon, although I don't think you can actually see many of those right now. I've got some whiskies and other spirits on the top shelf that you definitely can't see. And I've got a speaker and some general kind of photography, video capture stuff on the storage below to help me create these videos. But um, yeah, don't worry, if you're not keen on this angle or the audio or anything else, don't worry, it's almost certainly not gonna stay in this format. I've still got loads of stuff on that side of the room that needs sorting out. I'm gonna be trying filming from different things and hopefully kind of filming with this as a backdrop with me at a bar table or similar in the near future. But for now, I just wanted to get a new video out in this new space because to be honest, it's just a relief not to have to film around the dinner table and then have to clear everything away again straight away. So bear with me. Every video will look a little bit different for the next few weeks, I am sure. But for now, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already. Subscribe if you would be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.